Big Four is a national network of holiday parks. Big Four started in Ballarat with the four private parks combining. It was being well run and it was moving ahead. We picked out parks that were operating well, had good products and, and good, good facilities, and they moved along with us. Robert's great-grandparents settled here in 1852. They were from England and they cleared the land of cedar and in the first two generations it was a dairy farm. Robert's father started it as a caravan park when he was 21 in 1935 and it has been run by the East family ever since for 82 years. In 1935, we just had tents around the beach. Then, as time went on, people got caravans. Then they started saying, can we leave them here all year? We joined Big Four in 1979 with the second park in New South Wales. My husband straight away was delegated as park inspector and he visited parks and recruited new members of Big Four. It went from just a few parks up to about a hundred parks at that stage. We got bigger and bigger as time went on. Robert was an Aries personality, larger than life. He loved to help people. He was a people person. He liked to advise other caravan people what to do. He just loved the industry. The journey of Big Four Beacon Resort started in 1970. It was a big paddock of seven acres and it had big water holes and lots of box thorns. And my father said to my mum, well, we could always just go and live out there, but let's try and make a go of it. We'll build a caravan park and we'll be the best in Australia. And we'll aim to always to increase the industry and to make the industry better. We first started off with 66 powered sites and it was just for caravanners. We would only see people for five to six weeks of the Christmas break. We then wouldn't see another guest and through until Labor Day and then nobody else and through till Easter. My father was a plumber by trade. In our downtime, he would go off and run his other business for the first five years while my mother Judy would stay here and she would build and develop the park. And she would do everything from mowing, tiling, painting, cleaning, administration, accounting, you name it, she can do it. She's an amazing woman. Over the last few decades, the park has changed a lot and that's been driven by what guests need. We have so many luxuries at home these days, so we want to come away and we want to have all of the facilities within a cabin that we would have at home. Gloria and I both grew up in Canberra. We lived there for many years. It wasn't until our family grew up and started to leave home that we said, we'll go to Batemans Bay. We came down here to semi-retire, <laughs> but that never happened. We started the big business in the cabin business, transporting all over Australia. We love work. We love being involved with people. I was unfortunate enough not to have experienced caravan and camping in my childhood. It wasn't until Oh, after our marriage, my parents bought a caravan and had it in Batemans Bay and we used to visit whenever we could with our children and that's where it all began for us. Caravan parks were totally different, very unregulated, very backward. They were just campgrounds really. We designed the park to operate around families. The ultimate, I think, is when a guest walks into a cabin and says, wow, we've tried to be innovative from size and putting in facilities that you wouldn't get in any other accommodation other than a full-size home. But in a cabin, you get that sort of accommodation together with the friendliness of a caravan park. This park was bought by my parents 34 years ago. They came in here with virtually nothing. It was very much a family run business for a long time. Mum and Dad did all the cleaning and the office work and everything like that. And myself and my, my sisters ran the kiosk at a loss, mind you. 
16 years ago, we joined Big Four. Since then, the park has changed a lot in keeping up with the demands of the Big Four tourist. Tourism was very rustic in the late 80s. It was very much mum and dad towing the van down. There wasn't a lot of on-site accommodation. It was very much tents, canvas annex put up beside the caravan and that sort of thing. Now it's, it's become very modern and bling. My involvement with Big Four and this style of industry was very much aligned with marrying my best friend. I come from a very different angle to this industry. I never holidayed in the traditional caravan park. I think the traditional connotation and the perceptions parks have really changed. So what's happened here at Anglesey is that we've implemented these safari tents so that people who are probably not as capable as true campers are given the opportunity to be inside Canvas to make their weekend slightly more comfortable. The industry is capable of being very agile in that space, which is exciting because it doesn't remain stagnant and it's evolutionary. And I think the consumers react to that and it creates their story. Still to come on Industry Leaders, Big Four Holiday Park's dedication to the spirit of the true blue Aussie holiday for over three decades. But it hasn't been without its struggles, natural disasters and the loss of beloved family members. 